I want to play something for you. This is a little game we're going to play here. I'm going to play you this clip. It's uh, about a minute and 45 seconds. This guy is talking about the, um, you know, the holy fight that we are waging to make sure that uh, children who identify as a, uh, a gender that they did not have at birth are um, prevented from going to a bathroom where they feel comfortable and where they will not be uh, subject uh, to um, a ridicule and perhaps intimidation. Uh. And uh, I want you to listen. I want you to tell me um, who you think this guy is. Or I want you to just listen to this and just think, like, you know, where, what, who is this person speaking? This is number eight. Do they believe that we will just simply walk away from those freedoms that our forefathers died for? That Samuel Adams and, and those men that were divinely inspired to write that Declaration of Independence and our Constitution, do they think we will simply abandon that? They don't know us very well, do they? They don't know that Christians have been persecuted throughout the ages. They don't know that if it takes crucifixion, we will stand in line before abandoning our faith and our belief in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So if we are going to stand, now is the time and this is the place. So I want that this to sink in for a moment. Uh, that guy is talking about uh, that he is uh, willing to uh, subject himself to crucifixion, if necessary, to prevent kids from going into a bathroom uh, consistent with the gender that they self-identify with. That is, ladies and gentlemen, a, a, a governor of an American state called Mississippi. In the year 2016, in fact, he gave that talk, I think, just two days ago. Now, I got to say, I'm going to call BS. I don't think the guy would even, you know, uh, suffer a hangnail to prevent it. But he talks really tough. I mean, it, it seems like that whole room full of people are willing to be crucified. Now, if I had no part in it, and could just see a video clip of them doing it to each other. I would be, uh, they'd get my attention. I would, I would certainly say that. I mean, this is, this is lunacy, that, that, that we would have a, a government official talk like that. Now, granted, it's Mississippi, but even still. I mean, can you imagine? Let's just, I just want to just, just close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, imagine if, let's say, the governor of, uh, of New York State delivered that uh, same speech, uh, but in uh, maybe like a, with a different cadence. Walla, wakbar, Allah, Allah. It would be Mohammed Aziz, Walla, Walla, Akbar. Of course. Mohammed. Yeah. There might be a bad reaction to that. No, I think there would be, a, I think it'd be a pretty bad reaction to it. <laughs> I think there'd be a little bit more than just a story on Huffington Post. Unbelievable. He looks like a villain in some like eighties uh like T V movie too. Like he's really got the look like kind of like the classy I mean, version of like you boys not from around here, I, are you? You know, like I don't really have a problem with uh politicians speaking, you know, religiously. I mean, I don't love it. How about in tongues? I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't even, I don't know if I would even have a problem with that. I mean, I, mean, I, I think it would be pretty cool actually, just to watch. But, but this, but the, the metaphors that are being made here, um, are pretty creepy. Like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean if it takes crucifixion? Who's getting crucified? You're going to crucify yourself? 
I, I just don't. I, I just don't know what what what's being called for. I mean, it's one thing for you know, every, you know, somebody to go into a church and be like, you know, we all love God and yabba dabba do. But this other stuff is getting a little bit scary. Actually, we all love God and yabba dabba do. I think that was from a Trump speech. Yeah. Yabba, yeah, dabba do. I mean, yabba dabba do. It's true. It's all there in the yabba dabba do. The two Corinthians. The two Corinthians. <laughs> Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.